In this video, we will show the basics on how to use the Grandstream GXP 2140 VoiceOver IP phone. The buttons at the top left of your screen are your line keys, and they display your extension number. You might have more than one line key displaying your extension, and the reason for this is to allow you to navigate multiple calls with ease, which we will demonstrate later in this video. These buttons at the bottom of your screen are called soft keys, and they change depending on the state of your phone. When your phone is idle, it will display these options, but other options will appear when you are dialing a number or receiving a call. The history button will show your phone's history. If your phone has had a missed call, it will display a red number above the history button, indicating you had a missed call. Once you press the history button and view your history, you can press this back door button, which will take you back to your home screen. This will clear the notifications in your history. The redial button simply redials the last number you dialed. The features button takes you to your call forward options. You have three different call forward options. Forward all, which will forward all calls to the destination you enter. Forward busy, which will only forward calls when you are using your phone. And forward no answer, which will forward calls after ringing your phone for 20 seconds. To select one of these options, use the arrow keys and press the center button to select. Dial the number you would like to forward to. This can be a 10-digit cell phone number or another extension. Then press OK. The phone will announce the call forward rule. When your phone is in call forward mode, you will see this symbol at the top right of your screen. To cancel the call forward rule, press features and select the cancel option. The phone will again announce the deactivation of the call forward. Notice that the call forward symbol is no longer visible on your home screen. This envelope button is your voicemail button. You will know you have a voicemail when your line key displays this message symbol. You may be prompted to give a password. Once inside the mailbox, there will be a voice prompt which will help you navigate your voicemail box. Pressing 1 lets you listen to your new messages. Pressing 7 will delete the current message. Your voicemail already comes with pre-recorded messages for your busy and unavailable messages, but if you want to customize your voicemail recordings, press 0. Note that your phone will blink red when you have a missed call or a voicemail. To stop your phone from flashing red, simply view your history and listen to your voicemails. This phone book button will take you to your phone book options. This button with two phones is your transfer button. We'll talk more about transferring calls later in this video. This button with multiple people is your conference button. This button is your hold button. Pressing this will put a caller on and off hold. This button with the headphones is your headset button. If you have a headset plugged into the back of your phone, you can press this button to switch to headset audio. This button with the microphone crossed out is your mute button. Pressing this button on a call will mute your voice. Also, when the phone is in idle, pressing the mute button will put your phone into do not disturb. You can press the mute button again and it will disable do not disturb. When you get an incoming call, there are several different ways to answer it. The most straightforward way is to simply pick up the handset. This will answer the call and play the audio through the handset. Another way to answer a call is to press the button to the bottom left of the screen labeled Answer. This will automatically put the call on speakerphone. You can also press the orange speaker button located underneath the volume controls, which will also answer the call on speakerphone. If you answer a call on speakerphone, you can switch it to your handset by simply picking up the handset. You can also toggle back to speakerphone by pressing the speaker button again. Pressing the speaker button when on speakerphone will hang up the call. To make a call, simply dial the intended number or extension, and from there you can press the green dial button under the screen, which will dial out on speakerphone. You can also press the green phone button here, which will do the same thing. Lastly, you can simply pull the handset off the hook.
When on a call, you'll notice you have multiple lines to the left of your screen. These line keys help you navigate multiple calls. When you're on a call and another call rings in, you will be given the option to 1. Dismiss the second call, which will let that incoming call continue to ring silently. 2. Answer the call, which will put the first caller on hold. 3. Reject the call, which will send the incoming call to voicemail. And lastly, forward, which will allow you to forward the incoming call to another phone. If you choose to answer that second call, this will automatically place the first caller on hold. You can easily navigate back and forth between the two calls by using these line keys. Switching to one call automatically places the other on hold. You can know that the other call is on hold by the flashing green light. Remember, you can also use this hold button here to place a call on hold. There are three ways to transfer a call using a Grandstream phone. Blind, attended, and voicemail. A blind transfer sends the call directly to another phone. While on a call, press the button underneath the screen labeled Transfer. Then dial the phone number or extension you wish to transfer the call to. Then press Blind Transfer, and this will transfer that call to your target extension. You can also use this transfer button here to achieve the same result. An attended transfer allows you to speak to the party you are about to transfer the call to before the transfer actually takes place. To do this, press transfer, dial the extension you would like to transfer to, and press the attended transfer button. This will connect your extension with the target extension and place the original caller on hold. Notice that your first line key will flash green, indicating that caller is on hold. If the target extension would like to take the call, press transfer and you will have successfully transferred the call. If the target extension would not like to take the call, you will need to press split. End call. And resume and you will continue speaking to the original caller. A voicemail transfer transfers a caller directly to an extension's voicemail without actually ringing their phone. To perform a voicemail transfer, press Transfer, Star, the extension number, and Transfer again, and this will transfer the caller directly to the target's voicemail. If you have multiple calls on your phone at once and you would like to conference these calls together, simply press the conference button, then press the line of the other caller, and this will merge all calls into one conference. Note that since your phone has created this conference, if you were to end this call, this would end the call for all parties. The volume controls are located underneath the arrow keys below the screen. This controls the volume of your ringtone as well as the volume of your phone calls. When the handset is in its cradle, pressing the volume buttons adjusts the ringer volume. Pressing the orange speaker button activates speakerphone. When speakerphone is activated, pressing the volume buttons adjusts the speaker volume. When the handset is off hook, pressing the volume button adjusts the handset volume. When do not disturb or D&D &D, is enabled, this sends incoming calls directly to your voicemail. When on the main screen, the mute button located on the bottom right of your phone toggles this option on and off. If you would like to look into more of the phone's features, you can press the menu button here, and by using the arrow keys, you can navigate the phone's menu.